Good morning and welcome to our video for Tuesday, May the 5th. This is going to be our new lesson video for third grade. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Today we are going to be working with rectangles that have the same area but different perimeters. And so one of the examples that we might use is to try to figure out how we are going to make a fenced in area that covers the largest amount of area while using the least amount of materials to make the fence. Um, so that's kind of the idea of what we're working with with this rabbit pen. And so they want us to make um, rectangles that use 16 square tiles. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I will work on drawing the pictures after I talk through this part. So anytime we're looking for area, we are multiplying. Um, so we can use our multiplication facts. So I know that if I multiply any number by one, that is going to give me that number. So my first option I can do would be one times 16. If I cut this in half, I would get eight. And I can do two times eight. And then my third option, I need to think of what number I can multiply by itself to get to 16. That would be four times four. So these are going to be my numbers that I use to make my rectangles. So to start with, I'm going to go, um, I don't remember how many blocks there are, so I'm going to have to actually count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should be 16. My uh, cursor bounced a little bit. So if I'm one off, I apologize, but that gives us the idea of what that should look like. Um, a 2 by 8 should be relatively easy to draw. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8. And then our one that's going to give us our answer, 4 by 4, is actually going to give us a square. And so our perimeter for this first one, um, assuming that I did that correctly, would be uh, 16 plus 16 which would be 32 plus 1 plus 1 would give us 34. Uh, this one would give us 8 plus 2 plus 8 plus 2, uh, which would give us 20. And then for our last one, we can do 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 to also get 16. And so uh, 4 meters and 4 meters would give us our side lengths for top and bottom and left and right for our rectangle, which is actually a square. Um, and that means our perimeter would be 16. So to make the fence, we would need 16 meters worth of material. Um, I'm not going to do the part at the top here. Um, I would suggest that you try that. Again, we're looking for number two numbers that you can multiply to get to 18. So 18 times 1 is always an option. And then since this is an even number, you could try cutting it in half and do uh, how many times you can count by 2 to get to 18. And then you can try to play with things. So normally what I would suggest is I can do 1 times 18 and then two times a certain number, and then see if you can do three times a number, count by threes to get to 18. If not, then go up to your next number. And that's the way that I usually um, approach uh, teaching that for third graders. Uh, try to use your skip counting uh, tricks to figure out whether or not you can count to the number um, that the area should be. And if you can, then that's one of our factors for that number. Uh, number one, area at the right is going to look very similar to a Rubik's Cube. I am absolute garbage tier at Rubik's Cubes. Um, I sit here and play with one on a regular basis. Uh, I'm not any good at solving. I don't remember what the thing is and I'm too proud to look up uh, to try to cheat and find the answer. And this one I can't actually cheat and peel the stickers off. I used to do that when I was a kid. Uh, so More information than you probably needed to know. I can do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 to get 12. Um, and then uh, draw a rectangle that has the same area. So if I can do 3 times 3 to get to 9, my only other pair of factors that I can do to get to 9 would be 9 and 1. So I only have one option to draw, 
and I think I have enough, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sometimes they give it to us where there's not enough room to do it in both directions. Um, so I could draw this rectangle going that way. Um, so that's what that would look like. The perimeter of that rectangle would be nine plus nine, which is 18 plus one plus one is 20. So we kind of had to draw that one to do that. Uh, the greater perimeter would be the second one that I drew. Uh, number five, if you give a rectangle with a certain area, how would you draw it so it had the greatest perimeter? Um, make it as flat as possible. So as much uh, discrepancy between our numbers on the top and bottom than on the left and right. Excuse me, I need some coffee. <laughs> Help my voice. Um, so... I'm going to use this word flat. So I want to try to make it as close to being a straight line in one direction as possible. If I want um, the smallest amount of material or when I'm talking about if we have the same perimeter, um, what's going to give us the largest area would be making it as close to a square as possible. If we want the largest perimeter, we want to make it as close to a straight line as possible. And so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at on your own. Um, I'm going to skip number six. Let's do number seven. Um, so we are comparing the two. So I can tell you right now that we are doing three times eight. So three times eight is going to give us the answer for the area. That would be 24. And then I can do three plus eight to get 11. Three plus eight to get 11. 11 plus 11 gives me 22 for the perimeter. My area for the second one is going to be 4 times 6. That would give us 24, which if we get a different number for this on this lesson, uh, we probably need to double check our math for one or both of those because all of these should have the same area, but we're working with different perimeters uh, today. So our perimeter for this, we would be 4 plus 6 would give us 10. 4 plus 6 would give us 10. And 10 plus 10 would give us 20. And so rectangle A is going to have a greater perimeter by two. Um, number nine, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Dora says that of all the possible rectangles with the same area, the rectangle with the largest perimeter will have two side lengths that are one unit. So when I was mentioning this idea of making it as close to a straight line as possible, we're still going to be one unit high. So does that statement make sense? Yes. And the reason being is, if we only have one unit high, that means we are extending out much further than we would if we had a shape that was closer to being a square. So we have more area on the top and bottom, or sorry, more um, material on the top and bottom if we were making this as a fence uh, than we would have for all four of these sides put together potentially. So. Uh, looking at the homework real quick, just to give you an idea, again, Risen Christ students, I am asking you to do the even numbers. Um, so number two, you're going to have to give all of these different things. Uh, number four, you're probably going to need to figure out um, our uh, perimeter for both of these to do that. Uh, for uh, the homework video, I will uh, do an example of this, but I will probably just refer to something that's already been given because they've given us so many examples of this. Um, and then number one and number two on the back, I will do uh, number three for the homework video. This one will be very important because this works with order of operations. So if you're watching this, remember our order of operations, we should work with parentheses first, then multiplication, then division, uh, going from left to right and then addition and subtraction going from left to right. So if we wrote a wrong answer, it was because we tried to do this part first. That would not come first. So there's your hint. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom if you're a Risen Christ student. I don't have any way to ask, have uh, comments turned on for the uh, way the video is rated on YouTube, so I apologize for that. If you have any questions uh, that aren't answered by the homework video, uh, please feel free to reach out to your uh, classroom teacher and ask them for any assistance that you need. So hope you have a great day. The homework video for this will come out on Wednesday morning. So have a great day. See you then.